all aboard with chaos. All right, everyone, and welcome back. Here we are for another episode of eBay Cheap Buys. And in today's episode, we're going to be looking at this beauty. Look at this. This is a GWR 2800 class. That's right. It's 2-8-0 oh, and it has light up firebox feature. Oh yes! Can't wait to get this bad boy on the go. This was a little bit more expensive than the other locos that I'd uh, the other cheap locos I'd purchased from eBay. This was actually £54.50, but I saw it, I thought I've not got one of these, it looks really cool. Let's just give it a go. So here's a quick look. Let's just see. Look at that bad boy. Right, anyway, enough waffle. Let's get to the test layout and see how she gets on. All right. So here we are on the test layout and we've got the GWR ready to go. Now, this is the second attempt because the wheels keep spinning. So let's see if we can get her on the turntable or whether she will just stop. All right. There we go, she's on. And she nearly went off the track though, let's back her up a little bit. Uh, let's, just... let's just try that one more time, see if we can get anywhere near her. Ready, go. There we go, that's better isn't it? Yeah, she's on properly now. Look at it. Look at it, what a beast. And as you can see there, you've got the fireman and the driver inside. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. We've got some good tender action going on here. Nicely. The running number for this one is 2844. What a beast. Right, let's get it turned round and we can do some lappage. All right. All right then, here we go. We're ready to get her off the turntable. Now, will she be able to do it? Or will she derail? That is the question. Let's send her off. She's done it. She's done it. There we go. There we go. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Right, let's get her doing some laps then, eh? Where she goes. Not bad, not bad at all. Right, let's try her backwards, see how she gets on. 
the wheel slip is a bit of an issue so we'll see how it goes Yeah, she's all right. She's all right. Absolute purring away. Listen to that. Lovely. Listen to it. All right, well that'll do for the testing. Let's get her down onto the main layout now and then we'll see what she can do. All right, catch you in a bit. All right, so here we are down on the main layout, and there is the 2800. It's looking very stunning indeed. Let's give her a test and see how she gets on. All right, let's do a couple of laps and see how she gets on. Here she comes. Alright, let's have a look inside the cab and let's see if we can see that firebox. You see the light there?
Let's get a look inside that cab again. There it is. And in reverse. There we go, it's doing a bit of a wheel spin. Fantastic. I'll stop that now though, because you can smell burning. Okay, so we're going to get the GWR connected up to the coaches now. Alright, I think that was a smooth coupling. Now let's get her pulling the coaches. But wait, there's more. We need to go back and connect collect some other coaches. Here she comes, she's pulling all six coaches now. We've got a derailment. So it wasn't quite perfect that we've got a couple of derailments. Oh yes we have. Let's get them fixed. Alright, the derailment's fixed. The train is ready to go. Let's get her set off. Come on then.
So this loco, well she seems to be running quite well. I'd say that, that wheel slip is a little bit annoying, but other than that, she doesn't seem to be too bad to be honest. I mean look at she's pulling those six coaches. She's doing it alright. <laughs> yeah, I I I'm I think overall I'm pleased. I'm not a big lover of this uh livery, but the loco itself, you know, is it, pretty cool. I do like the fact that it's got eight wheels. Um, you know the, that it's a 280 just big locos they always do it for me <laughs> uh, but yeah it's it looks good I've got, to, I've got to admit it looks good she seems to be handling the layout alright so there's no complaints there it's just when I slow it down take it to a lower speed and then she gets to certain parts of the layout and just kind of starts to wheel spin a bit but other than that she seems to be man managing alright to be honest sort of I don't know about yourselves but I, I begrudge paying f full price for a, a new loco just in case like you know you can spend all that money and then there'd be something wrong with it or it would be not quite up to scratch at least when you're paying 50 50 60 pounds for something or, or less you know there's gonna be a few things wrong with it it might not function correctly but that's what you're paying for and you know I don't mind taking that risk sometimes but yeah, it's when, it's when you're buying a brand new loco, you spend, you know, 180, 200 pounds on a brand new loco, and it's not right, you know, that that hurts, that really hurts. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this one, I can't really complain. I do like the, the firebox feature, I think that's really cool, so you can run this at night and you'll get a, a cool glow coming out of it. And it's not DCC or anything, it's just part of the mechanism. So I think that's a, re a really cool feature to get that again for something that I've only paid £50 for. Yeah, it's quite pleasing. Alright, so there we go folks, that brings us to the end of the running session. Well, what did you think of that one? Again, and I, I say this all the time, but I like it. You know, it's got the, the firebox feature, 
it's a 280 so it just looks epic and it runs fairly well what I will say is a bit of a downside and you probably saw, saw it in the video as well is the wheel slip so I don't know if it just needs some new traction tyres in the tender or maybe it just needs a bit of weight adding to the back of it but yeah there was a lot of wheel slip in there and if I slowed it down to a certain point on the track it would kind of get stuck and then it would just be wheel spinning on that part of the track so that is a bit of a downside but to be honest it, I thought it would be the same when it tried to pull the carriages but once it got going it, it, it could actually pull the six coaches so yeah I, I don't really know maybe it just needs some uh, some new traction tyres just to stop that from happening but yeah all in all I'm, I'm pretty happy with that as I say £54 that's not bad at all anyway but that's what I think uh, if you guys just let me know what you think would you get one of these would you pay 50 for it or would, would you pay more or is it just not your thing but yeah anyway if you like this video just give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to see some more content I know it's not exactly groundbreaking stuff but I enjoy it I enjoy filming it and of course any opportunity to get that track cam out <laughs> that's right yeah, so I will leave it there. Hope you're all keeping well. Stay safe, everyone, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.